Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, in my very first video, new YouTuber tag, I said that with my channel, I want to like be honest, keep it real, tell my story. Somebody probably is going through the same thing that I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I'm going to do. After my mama died, my life has been crazy. My anxiety has gotten worse. I was in and out the hospital. I seen a psychiatrist. Um, I might get emotional during this. Um, yeah. A lot has been going on. A lot has been happening after I lost my mom. And it got to the point where I thought I was going to lose my mind. Thought I was going to go crazy. Not because I lost my mom, but because I was lost. My mama was the answer to everything for me. Whenever I needed something, whatever was going on, she was the answer. You know, I can honestly say being 20, I still need my mom. I don't have it figured out. I'm lost as I've, like, I've never been this lost, but I'm lost. And I need help. And that was my mama. And I don't have her no more. So a lot of things that was going on after her, like, like my anxiety, not even, yeah, my anxiety, my mom helped me with my anxiety. And I just, she's not there, I don't know. I didn't know how to control my anxiety or if it was ever going to get better. And then little things started happening. Well, and out the hospital, situations going on, jobs and my relationship. Uh, me and Deuce, my boyfriend, we're, we're good. <clears throat> That's not what I was talking about. Like, we have a goal. We have a plan that we want to get to. You know, like not individual but as a couple and my mom isn't here anymore to help me with that not to help me with it but to guide me through it like okay this is what you need to know this is this is this this is that you know what i'm saying because she's not here i'm at the age of my life where it's time for me to start starting my career it's time for me to get everything moving it's time for me like my relationship i've been with him for three years you know, like, we were talking about marriage, we are talking about kids, we are talking about all these things. You know what I'm saying? I'm at that age where I'm adulting. It's time to adult, you know. And the person that was my guidance isn't here anymore. So it's been hard. Um, April 24th was my mom's birthday, and me and my sisters had this plan what we were going to do for her birthday. Um... The whole day it was going good now ever since she passed it's like nothing ain't been going right for me so on her birthday i just thought and expected everything to go right it didn't we were gonna go to the lake get some seafood have a good time I ended up having to leave um before like anything even got started because of a situation that happened that led me to california that's where i am now I picked up everything and moved to California. The situation happened Tuesday. I left Wednesday evening and I am in California. Um, it was hard leaving my relationship. I wouldn't necessarily say it was hard leaving my family because I know they're going to visit. You know, they're coming down here next month. Um, it, it wasn't really hard leaving them. Because, like, that's, that they're not going anywhere. And I know they're going to visit. We're going to talk every day. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that for my relationship. But it's kind of different when you're in a relationship. Because a lot of people don't do long distance relationship. I, for one, did not do long distance relationship. I'm only doing it because that's the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. So... By any means, I'm going 
to try to make this work. And so is he, you know. Um, leaving him was hard. I cried. Um, he cried. <clears throat> it was like long conversations, short conversations, kind of like I want to be hugged up with him. He want to be hugged up with me. We kind of don't because the next day we know I'm getting on the plane and I'm leaving. You know, but he understands that it was, it is to better me. He knows everything that was going on in my life. And if I would have said I know, like, who knows what I would have been. Because I was losing my mind. And I thank God that I was blessed to have the support team that I'd have. Because if I didn't have that, I, w I don't know where I would be. Because my mama was my everything. My mama was the answer to everything. Um, so, I stay in Oxnard, California now. I stay with my auntie my cousins and her husband um and it's gonna be okay it's gonna be good you know um i plan on making a way more videos than i do now because i know i said i have a bunch of stories to tell and i do because as y'all can see listening to this y'all everything happens i have like literally every day something is going on in my life every day literally every day um so yeah i moved here um i got here last night did an application that my auntie's stepdaughter brought home did it application and went to turn the application in today and ended up having an interview today when i brought the application and i i'm just waiting for my second interview thank you moving along i'm gonna learn how to save my money better you know i'm gonna it's, it's about that time because I don't have a mom anymore, so she can't babysit me, I guess, how she would usually do or help me in ways that a mother would help, you know what I'm saying? Because she's not here anymore. So, my auntie is going to teach me how to be that woman that I need to be, you know, being an independent woman. I know independence, but I need to be humbled independent if that makes sense um so it's my new journey it's a new chapter in my life and um i have nothing but faith in god because i took i i i took the leap out on faith now because i left my life back at home to start new and me and my boyfriend talked He's going to do what he has to do out there so he can come be with me here. And even if we don't stay in California, just be together. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if we go to Texas or Atlanta. Because I'm not going back to New Orleans, okay? I left New Orleans. I'm not going back there. Smile. Just nothing is out there for me in New Orleans. Nothing. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, that's what happened. So I stay in California now. You know, um, me and my boyfriend were doing fine. We talk literally every second of the day. Um, you know, he's still doing, he still got his life, you know, so he's still doing what he got to do. And I'm still trying to make my way here, doing what I have to do. But it's going to be fine. My life, his life, our relationship, like, everything is going to be okay. I have nothing but faith in God that it's going to be okay. Nothing but faith. So, yeah. That's what happened. I don't know. Maybe I should call this, like, a little update on my life or something. I don't know. I love. I don't know, cause was it a story time? Is it really a story time? This is going on in my life. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna call this video. But yeah, y'all, it's my new journey. So I'll be recording my new journey now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking makeup seriously too, cause that's what I want my career to be like, and taking YouTube seriously too, cause I really want like subscribers i really want people feeling like they could relate to me i really want people to talk back to me on youtube giving me ideas like i want to be those your favorite youtuber that's what i want to be i want to be someone's favorite youtuber so gotta work for it and i'm willing to work for it i'm really excited for change because i feel like it's gonna be nothing but good that's coming from it you know getting back into church 
all that good stuff. So stay tuned, cause y'all, it's going to get so much better, even for you. Like if you going through whatever you going through, you don't necessarily have to pick up and leave like I did. You know, you don't necessarily have to do that. But keep faith, have faith in God, trust in His plans, because if it's not meant for you, He gonna do everything in His power. To let you know that it was not meant for you. Just like he did me. It wasn't meant for me to be no one. If it was, I would be there. You know what I'm saying? So, have faith in God. Pray. Trust in him. It's going to get better. It will. And I know it's like easier said than done. But some things you got to do. People get put in situations. So, you have no choice but to lean on God. And when you lean on God, he going he gonna to make a way. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, but I ain't going to be that preacher. I ain't going to preach. I'm going to tell you what's real, because all I know is to be real. Except if my mama was still here, y'all would know, because that lady ain't hold her tongue for nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I'm going to insert the clip just to give you a listen to me. Mind you, I'm an adult. In that video, we're adults. Okay, so don't think, oh, her mom talk like that, da, da, da. Me and my mom, my friend and my mom have had a really, 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 really close relationship. A real close relationship. Mom would do everything. If I had a problem with my vagina, I'm going straight to my mama. You know, if I had a problem with anything, straight to my mama. We were, we were, that was my best friend. We were best friend. That, that was my best friend. That was my everything. You a fucking lie. <laughs> I don't tell your mama or nothing. It's just between us. I really don't though. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching my video. I hope y'all subscribe to my channel, like and comment. See y'all in my next video.